Hello, this is Alekius, and welcome to the start of a brand new series in Rule the Waves 2, which you can see version 1.08, hopefully eliminating most of the bugs that we saw before. I know there's still a couple issues with it, but I didn't want to wait for everything to be perfect. We can work through any issues we have. Kind of the game settings we did, chose France for if you are unfamiliar with them, this is where things lie for the country of France. Um, we went with very large fleets, historical resources, and we're going to build out our legacy fleet ourselves. Question becomes, what kind of legacy fleet to build? And the questions, the questions. I'm really tempted to just not build dreadnoughts. Um, battle cruisers, couple pre dreadnoughts maybe, um, but really focusing on destroyers and cruisers, lighter forces than some of the other games. Um, not that we will have no capital ships, we will. But that's kind of the thought I'm having, kind of take the, and I apologize for the pronunciation, but the June Coal, the whole light forces will win the day, big ships just aren't worth the investment and are too much for liability. And uh, we kind of saw that in some of our battles in the German game. And so, why not? Why not explore that thought? And we'll just auto build the first destroyer. Three inch, four inch isn't going to be possible without without having some issues with too many center line. Yep. We we'll drop it to three. It's just crowded center line. We can eliminate that by getting rid of the torpedo mounts. Put on, let's see, Q. No, that's on the funnel. It'll be the P then. A P and maybe C and a D. Oh, that's center line. Not the C, the D, the E. Like, I could see that. Um, that's a few too many torpedoes, maybe. Why not clear it and we'll do an F and a G. Then we'll have the room to be able to get an extra knot of speed and up the amount of ammunition that we'll have. None of the rest of this applies. We have the Espingole. Speed, cold fired, deck doesn't matter. Just your standard, basic, very beginning of the game destroyer. And we'll go ahead and build one of those. Then I want, I want a light light cruiser. Ship is unidentified. What's wrong with it? Did it try to build a uh, wrong things? Out of front and a aft. All right. And we got to get rid of some of the. We'll see if we can get two. I don't think we will. I like splinter protection, but what I like and what I'll get are two different things. Oh, so there we go. That's a splinter protected ship. Uh, I do want some four inch guns, a pair of six inch guns. Can we increase the. Yeah, I don't mind a rate of fire loss. 
long as we have the guns. So we can rebuild those larger. Or we can leave them off. Four quality and seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and especially thirteen inch guns. So I think four inch guns are reasonable for a cruiser. We have one submerged torpedo launcher on each side. And in casemates. Gives them at least a modicum of protection. Deck armor is way too heavy. We'll have that. Would like her to be faster and have more ammo. I'm going to go with 180. Engine priority, we want reliable. We want extreme range. These are going to be uh, raiding cruisers, which I think we will drop it down to singles. That double is very heavy. More lighter guns, very basic primary armament. And that what doesn't really weigh that much either. Forty one tons. The uh, turret armor costing about sixty tons. Drop the deck armor. We'll give it a minimal belt. Oof. An extra knot of speed probably isn't going to happen. 4,000 tons. Is that reasonable? Is that too much? Is that too little? Hmm. I would really like it to be a lighter weight than that. But if we want the range, and we want any armor at all, it's going to be have, have to be that heavy. And the one inch deck, that would bring it up to 40. Yeah, that'd be way too much. We're going to have to deal without deck armor. But make them cheap and expendable then. Lose the turret armor. Lose the conning tower armor. And we lose the belt, or does she get reclassified? Yeah, that becomes an AMC, so we need to have some armor. And the conning tower armor really isn't anything. Oh, uh, what's the gun data for this? So she's protected against six inch shells of the future. Drop the ammo slightly. And I think that that knocked off a couple million or 1.2 million off her cost. We have the Montargis. We'll go with that. Must have an. Uh, because it's a protected cruiser. I forgot about that. And can't build. Yep, must use protected cruiser. She needs to have a deck. Rats. I'll make her very heavy. 5,200 tons. Way overshot. But we have some room for. Additional fire control, if they last that long. We're going to do that. I'm going to put protected turrets. Drop that ammo comp. Now, nah, let's just add 100 tons. One hundred fifty-five rounds, 6 inch. 
eight four inch guns, four on each side. Kinda crummy. And it's expensive. That's what you get for a long range ship. Oh, we'll save that. And we'll build one. Then I want. Do I want a better light cruiser? Or do I just want to make a heavy cruiser? Go for. I don't want those wing turrets. I want dual turrets, fore and aft. Eight inch guns. Go for five inches of protection. Splinter protection on the secondaries. Secondaries will be six inch. I'm okay with that. Deck extended. A little bit of something. Belt extended splinter protection. Five inch belt. Seven inch conning tower. Twenty nine one knots of speed. He has some four inch guns too. In pairs. We put them out on deck. Sprinkle them all over the deck. Uh, she doesn't need to be long range. She can be medium. You want normal engine priority. We want to do a flat deck. I think so. I'm not intending to slug it out with these. Would like some more ammunition. Gives us 10,300 tons. Well, rate of fire penalty is not much. If I make them bigger, that's a pretty significant increase. Uh, maybe if I do 10 inch. That's the limit for a heavy cruiser. Can we do 12? Nitrogen is not legal. No, 12 inch is fine. Okay. 12 inch guns on a heavy cruiser. I'll make her significantly bigger, significantly more expensive. I'm going to want to protect her better. So let's see about eight inches, eight inches, 10. We do two on the extended deck. Yeah, that's not much. And now she is giant. Which is what I was trying to avoid. I don't mind though, I think I'm going to keep it. Six inch secondaries. Ideally, we would have a little bit more armor on them and 160 rounds. Yeah, this isn't going to go into any slug fests. This I think I can do. It's expensive. I'm really tempted to downsize it and use my heavy cruisers as raider interceptors. But they're going to end up in fights. Fights with ships bigger than they are. And I think I'll leave it as is. And fight as a B. We drop it to 10 inch. You can stay a cruiser. Which is what I was thinking. You can give her more ammunition. Uh, 
drop her weight. 14,800, getting down to a reasonable weight. Do six inches of armor. Put her on a diet. And we're starting to get to what I wanted originally. Which is under 50 million. All okay. Build one of those. Uh, let's see. We are going to want at least one, maybe preferably two. Treadnoughts. Pre-dreadnoughts. Ugh, that's hideous. Yeah, that's better. So, we have 12-inch guns. We can do 13s. Expecting to upgrade the barrels. Yeah, they are no better than the others. You've seen how I like to play with these ships, so I'm going to put in lots of ammo. Uh, I'm going to have to put her on a diet. 10 inches all around. Skimp on the turret tops. Skimp on the belt extended. Secondaries can go on a diet as well. Would really like more speed, but that's going to be very expensive. And I would like some 4-inch guns. Put these in casemates. Pump them up to 8-inch, maybe? Nah, 6-inch is the best zero-quality gun. That's really not much. I'm gonna have to sacrifice ammunition. Just to get eight. That's two aside or four aside. And 185. Orton broad starboard broadside torpedoes. All right, there we go. Build one of those. Now the question is, we're going to need some minesweepers, or vets, uh, not for mines, eh, might as well, two four inch guns, 500, too small, Needs to be 624 knots, I think, is max. Yep. Put a narrow 2-inch belt on it. Add in some ammunition. Not too much. Up the speed slightly. We're back down to 20 knots. And we'll get rid of most of it to have a knot. And the engine speed doesn't account for much. Two inches of belt armor will help. There we go. Now 
And we have a Minesweeper. And we'll build one of those. In addition, let's build, build out to 12, build out to 12, get a second battleship for the initial second heavy cruiser can only take how much 24,000 I need more than this we'll put in a lot of raiders too many raiders well I scrap I don't get the money back because it's a legacy build it's fine some may consider it wasteful it is it's fine ships under construction we're going to want a bunch more Corvettes Only building nine. How many did we get in the end? Eleven cruisers. Cost is nine fifty three. Should be able to put one of those on the slip. Oh well, we'll have uh, nine Corvettes building and we'll get the rest out afterwards. Finished with that, we're gonna go to research. We're gonna push it even though it's inefficient. We want better guns, we want better torpedoes, better light forces. Submarines can stay medium, explosives can stay medium, AP can stay medium. Uh, other things. I want speed. All constructed and can wait. Fire control needs to be high. Oh, we could look at this in a different way. Fire control needs to be high. Torpedo needs to be high. Everything else can be medium. And we can put as low other things. Subdivision I'll leave as reasonable. Same with turret. Hesitant to turn down ship design. Let's focus on lowering explosives. We have too high and too low. Ah, oh, I was misreading. We have funds of 28. That's why we couldn't build anything. Put it for high for everyone. Doctrine, we're going to want night fighting and torpedo warfare. Four to six inch guns. As secondaries, we want more HE. For main armament, we want a bit less or more AP. Going to 10 inches, they look weird. 11 inches. We'll go with that for now. Maybe a bit silly. Target is a capital ship. Medium range, we want HE. Long range. 
maybe. Target is an armored cruiser. We'll go with that. Do AP at any range. And then target is a light cruiser. We'll go with that. And that. A little bit different from our previous game. And then references should be fine. Oh, I forgot to move the ships to foreign station. Okay, West Africa, Southeast Asia, South Pacific. Are these two alone enough? No. Send these ones as well. I may use my heavy cruisers as foreign station keeping again. That means we'll need more. Now we need to lay down an extra light cruiser. We need three more Corvettes. I'm gonna sit on the rest. Pass the turns along. Build up a little bit of a reserve. And if we build a heavy cruiser, monthly build cost is 2000. Go ahead and do so. Oil discovered in Corsica. How lucky could we be? We'll pick a fight with Austria. Or an AP. Majestic. Another Corvette, another Corvette. We will send a battleship. Ooh, coincidence rangefinder. Get the second heavy cruiser going. I'm going to slide these over. We want West Africa, Indian Ocean. New tactics are ready. Um, we'll piss off the US. Piss off everyone. Savings on machinery. Get irritated at Japan. Now let's take three of these. I'm on active fleet. I'll have to move them individually. Northern Europe. Northern Europe. Northern Europe. Who do we really want to go to war with? Can go to war with anyone. Austria-Hungary makes a good start, but our fleet's just going to be getting outdated as we go. Uh, Germany and Britain will both blockade us. 
Italy is a good option. Yeah, Italy is a good option. Uh, we're ahead on Austria, though. Rate of fire improvement, better torpedo ranges. Take it easy with the rest of these. Let's see if we can't get Italy. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Buy us a little bit of time. Oh, that reduces funds. Get slightly larger destroyers, better submarine reliability. Oh, tensions are dying down too quickly. Lavoisier is in the Navy. We'll get started on one for the Mediterranean. Heavy secondary battery, excellent. Fuji, not too much of a threat. Worth, moderate threat. Better 7 inch guns, that's beneficial. Mostly for the cruisers. Not concerned about the Majestic, we saw her earlier. No doubt the meddling of Italy. Gradual damage control improvement. Okay, so we have West Africa, Indian Ocean, Southeast Asia, and South Pacific. Oil in Polynesia, lots of oil this time around. Do have some unrest. I don't want to be too aggressive. Better eight inch guns, excellent. So the dead petit toar now built. Increased naval spending, excellent. Threatened by Italy. Oh, there we go. What we like to see. A little bit too soon. So I'm gonna start taking these off foreign station and assigning them very specifically. We need Southeast Asia, Southeast Asia, throw these ones in Southeast Asia as well. And this one went to Northern Europe, Northern Europe. Yeah, it's fine. Let's see, we have 42, 13, all right, that'll do. Workup's still occurring. Better accuracy, no war yet. And let's send you to Southeast Asia.
uprising in Africa. It may put us at war. There it is. One heavy cruiser. Fleet battle. Enemy raid on coastal installations. That would go very bad if it was uh, actual full fleet. We'll see if we can find them though. And once we do, see what we can do about it. All right, supposedly they're down here. Battleship, heavy cruisers, light cruiser and destroyer combo. Transport's taking fire. There they are. Drop the sighting range, squad max. A good portion of their fleet. All right, we hit the Toronto with 10 inch. Nino Bixio. Heaviest we've seen so far is the light cruisers. Their deck armor on this, two inches. I can actually close with them. Destroyer squadron and a bunch of light cruisers. There's a heavy cruiser, maybe. And some more, which I'm assuming those are battleships. I'm gonna turn around. And pursue these ones and leave those alone. Of course, accuracy at this range is atrocious. Marco Polos, eight inch belt, eight inch guns. I'm probably close, fairly close to these ships. Close range. Still no real hits. Light cruisers are closing. All right, got to hit into the Nino Bixio. All right, trading fire. Marco Polo. Take a couple hits. Secondary battery took damage. There's a few more hits into the Marco Polo. on a little bit more. Alright, that's belt extended. Hit on us. Continuing to hit the Nino Bixio. Best choice would be to close in on the light cruisers. Which we're doing here. Fade out a little bit. Got some hits on those destroyers. There's another one. That one's done. A couple more hits. Another, and it's slowed. I'm 
Hmm. Not having a lot of luck finishing off this turbine. Now it looks like it might be a light cruiser or destroyer. Continuing to hit out at the turbine. And there she goes. Full stop. Let's see what this one is. Another destroyer. And supposedly battleships up there. And the way they're handling, it looks like it's probably the case. I want to give them a wide berth. No, no, those are heavy corvettes, or cruisers. Not the pre-dreads that we were thinking they might be. Of course, going to focus on the Marco Polo. And we're playing in Admiral mode, as is normal for me. I don't really get to choose targets. We can close in with this turbine, we can finish it off. Or pick off one or more of these uh, other ones. Follow them around. And the destroyers are wisely hiding behind their fleet. Got a head on the turbine. There goes another one. Ooh, these ones are coming after. They want blood. Avoiding the potential turbo uh, torpedoes. Feels weird to be chasing down destroyers. Uh, we'll continue to maneuver. That was a little too close. These early guns, early fire control. Armored targets are really tough. And difficult to take out. Ooh, let's swerve. Keep coming around. Now that one turbine is going slow. So let's cut in. Let's see if we can pick her off. It's like a nope. Oh, there's another hit. And there, she's done. Taking a few hits, a little bit of flooding. Luckily, we're close to home ports. Mix in with the light cruisers. We're not too concerned about their heavy cruisers. With just one of our own, they can spread out the damage quite significantly. And with nighttime starting to fall, I think we'll fade back. Wait it out. Any moment now. Another hit on the Marco Polo. They're fading back. And here's full nighttime. Drop down to cruise speed, see if we can't 
eliminate some of our accumulated coal buildup. And now we're at run down on time. So there were two battleships. We've got four of their destroyers, medium damage to our heavy cruiser, which definitely won't be going to the uh, Southeast Asia. Details, I do want to grab the log for our ship. As I will plug it into that spreadsheet I made for the last time around and continue to improve that spreadsheet. So here we go. There's that one. I'm not too concerned about their ships. Mostly I just wanted to see how we are performing. Depending on how this spreadsheet develops, I'll get around to um, adding in slots for other ships, other countries. Well, marginal victory for us. I'll take it. And uh, for there, we will go ahead and save. With that, I'll bring this episode to a close. Thank you for joining me. I hope you're enjoying it. Please leave a comment. Let me know what you like. And I will see you next time. Take care.